right, I figured I'd show this. It's actually a little bit better because I already put some in, but I grabbed the camera out of the truck and figured I'd show you this. This is an organic stain. You can see the middle of the pool. Big brown spot. Actually, the whole pool itself was covered, but I've already put some in. And what I've put in is some stain remover, which is simply like this. So, azorbic acid, also known as vitamin C in powder form. And so, what I'm going to do is throw it out there to show you how this works. As soon as it hits the bottom, you'll start to see it break up, especially over in that area over there. And then, as you run the pool, this is two pounds of vitamin C. As you run the pool uh, for the next, you know, few hours, it'll break all the stain up. And it's like magic. You can see the steps over there were kind of the same way. You see in the corner over here, you still see some brown right under the water line. But the steps are white now. They were totally like the center of this pool when I first got here. So, but you look over there, you'll see it's breaking it everything up. And that is magic. Vitamin C for your pool. Now remember, after you put it in, and the question is, can I use this vitamin C out of my ca in my cabinet? Yes, as long as it's not like sheltered, uh, you can grind it up and put it in, but you still have to follow the same practice by coming back within 24 hours and rebalancing the pool because it will wipe out your outdoor video. Turn the pool back on, but you can see the stains are breaking up. Uh, I'll wait a few minutes and we'll see how much of it breaks up before we leave. But you just want to make sure if you do this, if you do use vitamin C that you grind up and throw in a pool, you still got to follow all the same guidelines. You want your pH to be between 7.4 and 7.6. You want to adjust your total alkalinity to between 80 to 120. And depending upon the type of primary sanitizer used, you want 80 to 100 parts per million for sodium hypochlorite and calcium hypochlorite or lithium hypochlorite and 1 to 120 parts per million for dichlor or trichlor or bromine tablets. Make sure that free chlorine is less than 1.0 parts per million. You want to make sure you turn off all your chlorinators and chlorine generators, such as your salt system. Remove any like floating chlorinators. Get all the, all the chlorine out of the pool, basically. Um, and one pound of this, one pound of, of azorbic acid to every 10,000 gallons of water. And this is probably... 18,000 gallons in this pool so you know two pounds will be sufficient to treat it and then uh, you just follow up uh, you want to run the filter continuously of course for 24 hours and then follow up to rebalance back wash and clean and everything um, and then usually you just don't want to super chlorinate the pool for about three days and uh, just raise the chlorine um, levels just gradually just take your time don't be in a hurry just bring them up gradually but as you see it's it's really breaking it up and i'll uh put all our equipment in the truck and we'll come back and see what it looks like in a minute five minutes later 